we're going to be checking out this classic meal ready to eat, menu number two, ham and chicken loaf. Now this one here was stored in a climate controlled environment for all these years. So let's check it out. So we have some classic crackers. Looks like the vacuum seal is just fine on those. And then some pears, which seems like there might be a little bit of some give and something sticky on the outside. Well, we'll see how that held up. Ham and chicken loaf. The 62nd day of 1984. 0624. Look at those ingredients. Nitrates, MSG, not bad. Accessory packet. Coffee, creamer, sugar, salt, chewing gum, matches, and toilet paper. Classic MRE spoon. A pineapple nut cake. Made the 103rd day of 1984. Simple ingredients. And some peanut butter. So there's everything. Let's give the accessory packet a look. Always has that unique industrial cross between matches and plastic and I don't even know what else. It's amazing. Coffee instant. 2.2 grams net. Sugar. Creamer that feels perfectly fine matches. Iodized salt. Super generic looking pack there. Some toilet paper. Tufco Company. Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's blue. And some gum. Hey, now that looks great. Alright, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, in case. Let's first start off with that coffee. Instant. Might as well throw that creamer and sugar in there as well. Since the creamer feels perfectly fine. Again, this thing was climate controlled. We'll see. It's usually these early 80s, you know, the first five years. They're usually like science experiments by this point. So then, blue toilet paper. I can imagine that maybe there are a few reasons why it's blue. First off, I like blue. That's a good reason. But honestly, I can't come up with any good reason as to why this toilet paper is blue. Okay, so now I really want to, ah, let's check out the pears. I can't help myself. Oh, this. They look fine, I think. Wow, they smell great, which isn't normal, really. Usually, freeze dried stuff, you can't smell it at all. But those just smell like some extremely sweet and just strong of pears. Perfectly fine. Look at that. Truly one of the greatest food inventions of all time, and I have no idea why they were taken out of MREs. The last year for the freeze-dried fruit was 1994. So now, this ham and chicken loaf. I'm gonna boil this in the pouch for about, I don't know, 12 minutes. There's always that glue for these old ones. I hate to mangle this, but look. Look at that glue. You gotta be careful because this can actually rip the pouch open if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, that's kind of a shame. Oh well. Yeah, look at this thing. Some super sticky glue on this side. Yeah, this um, this pouch, usually these things are all crinkled, you can tell. Usually there's plastic separation and um, they're breaking down. I'm going to boil this. 
All right, now the crackers and peanut butter need this packaging. That one was so incredibly separated. I guess that's what happens when an MRE is just sitting there for 33 years. If this thing's edible, this ham and chicken loaf, it'll be the second oldest MRE I've ever eaten. Had that Frankfurters. Didn't eat the whole thing though, just had maybe just one of those Franks. Nice hit. Thing squeaked. Oh wow. These are the best MRE crackers. The salted ones. Look at that. There's salt on those things. And they smell perfect. That's awesome. I'm only putting peanut butter on one of these. I want to enjoy one of these crackers just on its own in its true glory of salted goodness. It's peanut butter. I'm sure this is fine. It's perfect. Emery peanut butter, it always kind of just tastes unique. I guess because it's fortified with vitamins. There's 80% of your daily value of vitamin C in MRE peanut butter. Awesome. Peanut butter, one of the best apocalypse foods, you know, like for stocking up, literally lasts forever if stored properly. That's a big old glob of peanut butter. It looks like frosting. It has a little bit of this sweet, tangy kind of flavor to it. So it's this like sweet and salty deal. Look at that. That kind of looks like dessert, but this is dessert. Pineapple nut cake. Now if this thing is still good, that is a true miracle. I hate having to mangle these boxes, but it's the only way to get them out. Wow, that thing's really in there. That smells awesome. There's no rancidity to those nuts. Look at that. I can't even believe it. Hold on, I gotta take a, a bite of this real quick. It's so, like, glisteny and velvety soft on the outer surface. It literally feels... I don't know what to compare that to. It feels like, it doesn't feel like food. I probably should have taken a small bite just in case those nuts are rancid. I never thought I'd have a pineapple nut cake. I've had these things, open them up, and they were black. Like the whole thing, just solid black, smelled awful. This just has a nice, mild pineapple, dried pineapple kind of smell with a, like, Super high amount of shortening, and that's pretty much it. Very simple. Hmm. Why aren't those in MREs anymore? That is so good. I'm so calorie dense. I'll bet there's like 400 calories in this thing. The US MRE contains 1300 calories. Hmm. I mean, truly a decadent, rare treat. Oh man, that pineapple is perfect. I can't even believe it. I don't. I just want to eat that thing right away. That is amazing. So this coffee instant, good every time. I think I might have put 10 ounces of water in here. That's fine. It's so smooth. Stretches it out a little bit. So then I got to try just a classic salted MRE cracker. There's no salt on emery crackers anymore. There hasn't been for over 30 years. Malted barley. The salt brings out the flavor so much more. No idea why they took the salt out of these things. It has so perfectly crisp. I would never guess this was 33 years old. It was worth every penny. Now, this here, with the peanut butter. That is a salted peanut buttery masterpiece. Thirst provoking though. These definitely go hand in hand right here. That is a phenomenal cracker. I mean, it's more crisp than MRE crackers that I had from like just last year production. I don't understand it. How was this thing stored? Was it frozen? It's Truly phenomenal.
This is like best case scenario. I'm wondering how that ham and chicken loaf is. It's out in the pot boiling right now. So now the pears freeze dried. Hmm, those are different. Boy, that really gets stuck in your teeth. It's not like the styrofoamy. I mean, it still is a little bit like styrofoam when you bite in, but this one here is like a little chewy. I think it might have had like a little bit of moisture left in or something. I have no idea. It's different. Maybe there's more syrup. Like it's, it seems sweeter. And the flavor of the pears, so prevalent. Wow, I wish I had a hundred of those things and a hundred of these pineapple nut cakes. Well, fresh ones. This is probably the only time in my life I'll get a chance to try something like this. I can't imagine finding any MREs this old in this good a condition again. This is like pretty much a once in a lifetime opportunity. Hmm. This is just the strangest thing. I wonder how much longer it would have lasted in this condition, stored the way it was. Wish I knew. All right, the ham and chicken loaf, I'm gonna bring it up. Thing is nice and hot. There's the loaf. It's a steamer. It smells like bacon. Look at that. Kind of get that last bit of goodness out of there. Ooh. Look at that thing. Cool. Right, let's. Oh wow, it's super soft. You know, guys were usually eating these things cold or putting them in their engine block, or maybe in an exhaust pipe. Definitely no heaters, not until 1993. Check that out. Wow, it's hot. Jeez, that's kind of weird. The texture, it's um kind of like mushy. Look at this, like it looks like real spreadable, like you could spread it right on the cracker. It kind of seems like a, a decent breakfast item. It's very salty, like a smoked ham and canned chicken flavor. Yeah, I want to actually spread it on the cracker. It almost is like a weird pate. I mean, this looks like it breaks out to a lot too. It's like a luncheon loaf, you know, almost like a pate. Yeah, it's like very spreadable considering. I wouldn't have guessed that. Very cool. There we go. Not too much. Hmm. That's the way to enjoy it, right there. That is awesome. Perfect balance, that nice barley flavor of the crackers and they're salted with this super salty meat. I mean, look at that congealed fat, right? Oh yeah. When will I ever get a chance to try a early generation ham and chicken loaf from an MRE? Probably never. Well, I could try one, but it won't be like this. This is fresh. I can't even believe it. 33 year old. I'm going to eat this entire MRE. This thing's perfect. Hmm. This is a true experience. I mean, it's a simple main course. It's just salty, smoky, a little bit mushy. I'm going to follow it up with some pears. Gosh, those pears. More prevalent pear flavor than usual. This is one of the coolest MRE experiences I've ever had. 1984. What a year. I mean, ham and chicken loaf. I've heard some bad stuff about this one. I've also heard some bad things about chicken a la king and turkey and dice gravy. Those, some of them had some issues and made guys sick. I heard guys said that sea rations were better than these and um, this menu here was not very light. Um, actually, ham and chicken loaf was produced until 1987. 88, it was replaced with corned beef hash. 1981 to 1985, zero changes were made to those menus. So this one here is a true classic, first generation. It really goes great. I mean, truly hand in hand with the crackers. It's like a cross between deviled ham and some sort of weird luncheon loaf. Definitely better hot than cold, I can imagine. It's, when it's cold, it's probably like a deli meat. Cannot be 
all too pleasing. Eat it while it's hot. I don't know, I, I'm really enjoying this thing. I mean, the only thing missing from it is a flameless ration heater. Again, those were introduced in 1993. The pears, they don't have as much crunch. They're like a little chewy. Look at it, a little mushy too, you know, squishy. Like, it breaks at least. That is so amazing. The pineapple nut cake. I feel like this is a real star of the menu. Not rancid. Not off-putting whatsoever. It has that weird velvety outer texture. Like it's super soft. It feels like, like you saran wrapped, you know, some cookie dough or something and it's got that little squish. And, it's like real smooth, you feel the outer surface and it's just the saran wrap. That's what it feels like, it's totally unnatural. And totally amazing. I don't want it to end, just like the 80s. But all good things must pass. Hopefully this will. Yeah, there's no numbing in my throat or in my mouth, no swelling, no rancidity. And then the crackers, true good mood food. When it's 33 years old and you know it's not going to give you a stomach ache, thanks. Well, that's one for the books. Didn't need the salt, but I am going to check out this gum. Whoa, their heart is a rock right there. There we go. It's like a gumball that's been sitting in the machine for like five years. Gotta be careful. Nice peppermint flavor with real sugar just the way it should be. This was truly an amazing experience. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.